photography and today in this video I'm going to show you my filing system and how I archive my files. Now last night we went on a photo walk and we, we had a, a nice nice time. Uh, the video of that will be coming a little bit later but just interestingly I I've got this. It's a little light. This is the photo walk was at night. That is a little LED light. And it, it helped. It illuminated my face quite well. I stuck a little bit of Valpro on here and to the GoPro. Um, I'm hoping that the audio is going to be okay on that, but I guess we find that out a little bit later on. So, this is the audio from the GoPro, not the audio, the filming from the GoPro. And this is the, ta -da, the photos from the walk itself taken with the, the 800. So, I'm going to walk you through how I do it. Now, I'm a very, very, I'm a very, very big fan on one library, one job. So, everything gets put together in a folder and in that folder we have lots of subfolders. Now this system I, I saw I saw a stolen really from the idea of Kevin Kubota and um, I shall get to show you and he had um well this is not on well Wellcom tablets not on. By the way if you have one of these Wellcom tablets and these these express keys here they stop working. I had this and I thought, oh no, I'm going to have to go and get a guarantee and go and turn it back to the shop. And um, there's a very, very quick fix for that. You just turn it over, you pop that out, take the battery out, wait a few seconds, put the battery back in, put this all together, press that and it all works again. So that was nice and easy. Right, um, now I always work from um, a scratch disk, um, an external hard drive, and this is because um, I've only got 512 gigabytes on here. And when you're doing movies, and you know, you're doing movies, and um, lots of data on on your computer, it, it suddenly gets filled up quite quickly. So. I find that the best thing is just to work on that and then um, when I finish with it then I have two other discs which are yeah, I have two other discs which are mirrors. So after I've um, finished here well, I'll just pick up that folder, put it onto the mirror one, mirror two and then that's my backups and then the scratch disc I've got it doesn't matter if I, I lose that information, but that the scratch disc on there is um, pretty much my current work. All the work that hasn't been transferred over to the over to the, the mirror discs. I hope that makes sense. Right, right on the screen now. Um, let's open this right up. Okay, so this is my clients now. In here you're going to see lots and lots of stuff. Okay, so this one here is the template that I use. And I'm just going to open that up. And in here, there will I put all the original cards in there. And by, and by the way, you can you can have this how you want it. This is just an idea that the idea here is that you just cherry pick the bits that you want and then you, you put it into your workflow. This is no way the only way of doing it. This is my way of doing it and I find that it works really well for me. So here we have the original cars, we have the masters, um, the Photoshop masters and in here we have JPEGs which this is an empty master and what I do is I'll copy this over and if I have any photos for slideshow I put it in there. Um, Photoshop presets these are the presets that I use in Photoshop so if I open up um, any of these just click on these these are one of my work process uh, any 
everything that I need, I've, I always have. I know this sounds a little bit madness and overkill, but I don't want to be going into separate areas to try and find a action or anything. I just find it easier just to chuck, blunt it all in one big folder. And then from there, all I need to do is just pick the bits I want out from that folder. It's all in one place. And then if I move it from here to another disc, I just pick everything up. And it, I know that everything is correct. Either the metadata gets saved um, with the Lightroom and the iMovies that I use as well. Print, anything printed gets put in here. Any albums get put in Lightroom catalog. Now, I've got one here, rename me. I will, let's just minimise this and then go back to here. Let's go into Lightroom. There's a couple of things that I want to show you in Lightroom. This is a night photo walk, so just open up any library in Lightroom. So we we'll go to File. Oh no, sorry. Go to Lightroom and then Preferences. There's two things that I would recommend that you do. Obviously, it's one. so we go into General and then when starting up Lightroom, when starts up, prompt me when starting Lightroom. Now I always have this catalog open because if we go for this one here, load most recent catalog. If you don't do one catalog for one job, it's okay to go into the last one. But I just find it's better to be asked which library I want opened. So that is in that is in preferences and catalog settings. There's one thing that you must 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 do, and that is every time Lightroom exits save it back your catalog up and it will back it up in the file in the right place so when you pick up your your big big file your big folder and dump it somewhere else all this gets saved it's it just just does it and it does it so well but if you don't have this here every every time Lightroom exits back up a catalog if you don't back up your catalogue, you go in and open another catalogue up, you will lose all the work that you've done before. So that you really, it's a big, big, big one that one. You must do that. So when you create your, your master template folder, all we do is you go into file, Um, I don't know. Let's go to Lightroom. Oops. Right, I'm going to close right Lightroom now. So if you yeah, back up, so I'm going to close this. And next time I open up Lightroom, it will now ask me to bring up a different day. So bring up this dialog box here, rather than going into the last one that you you opened up. So choose a different catalogue, you can just click on it and open it, or create a new catalogue. And I'm going to create this on the desktop. Um, Adrian's MacBook Pro, um, it's gone a bit weird, but it's, um, users, my user, I'm going to put it on the desktop. And it's just going to be on the desktop and save it as demo demo great there we go I'm now going to close this and then ask me to close it so here it is here demo and in there we will have oh, be nice. in here you've got your um, demo previews and this here I click on this and we look on here Lightroom's closed there's no little dot on there if I click on that that will then open up the Lightroom and, and that will anything we do all this down here always stays the same gets carried over and then all we do is import so 
We know how to do that now. Let's get rid of the demo. Let's get rid of that. Because we, I'm going to automatically put on the Scratch Master. So we're going to go Scratch Master, Photography, Clients. And what I do is I copy that. And these all down here are copies of this template here. I'm just going to go into here. And then, ooh, rename it. And I always name my files the same. The year first, we go 21 9, dash, the month is 03, and then the date it was taken, and it's 12. Then we're going to call it what we're going to call it, and it was a meetup. Um, night time. This is all going to be done in one take. <laughs> so bear with me to see all the mistakes and everything. So, meet up nighttime walk. Um, number two. Number two. And it was round Hartbrook area. So, this is now, I'm going to copy this, I'm going to select all. Um, command A, Command C, and that will now copy the text to see what I've done that now. So this is all the way down here. So now this has created the original card, which I'll put the photos of that original card in. So slip it in here. Now there's many ways which you can import stuff into Lightroom. I find this the cleanest way. So um, I'll just do this. Do this, do this, and just select all, and then just open this one up here. And this is the folder for it. Here we go, 688. So let that whirl away. So we'll just go back because that's now important now. So we did um, the original cards that's going into there, um, the masters, the JPEG. So all the all the JPEGs will get put into there that I chose. <coughs> Probably one or two photos. <coughs> um, Lightroom cards are covered up. A website card. These are all the 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 tips in here. I keep. Um, the three XM solutions template is, is a template in here for the boxes that I when I did used to do the weddings that they were in there. I could probably get to that now. But um, entrance screen was when I had people come into my home. I used to display a, a, a nice photo of, of them on an entrance screen on a big screen. Movie. Now all the stuff is in the movie clips. When that's finished coming in, we'll go into there. So all the GoPro stuff on there, we'll, I've only got one SD card slot, so that will go in there in a minute. Uh, any photos that I will, will um, develop from Lightroom, I'll put in here. I'll put in here that I want to be used with the clips or just put them into clips. The photos and um, this is a YouTube and here I have the thumbnails this is how I create the thumbnails so I have a template for that the data files these are all the files that I used for let's just open this up so there's another way you can open things up with um, with Photoshop just get hold of this you go over to here and then you put Photoshop out open it up. So here I have a template and I literally just drag, take a screenshot, and drag it into the background and then I write the text and that's, that's that done. 
and these are all it's all the standard so and and then the smoke bug template what was that for that was for oh the banner the banner on the smoke bug template so that is the right side so if I want to change that any time I can then just do that so that is pretty much that's pretty much it of what I do and how I do it so after I finished this, I don't know much longer it's got. Maybe done. So look, it was done. Okay, so we reject this one. This is a D800. So let's help. And just to show you where these ones here go, go to Ruby, do the clips. Oh, incidentally. This one here is the open screen that I use, so it's already in here. So when I click on it, it's in here. I don't know how long it's going to take to do, but I think you, you get the idea. So there's no name, da -da. open, PCM, GoPro, select all, command, let's move this down, command A, and just click and drag and drop those into there. I don't know how long it's going to take. There's quite a few little clips there, look. So. Well, I think, I think that covers pretty much the work, by by workflow, and how I do it. Um, so I think, I think we'll leave that one there now. Um, any questions, put them in the comments below. Um, so, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.